Hi, in the previous video we have been talking about the concrete implementation of the first graph traversal algorithm, the so-called breadth-first search, and a very very important application of breadth-first search is the so-called web crawler. So basically we are able to construct a graph-like structure, a network, from the URLs or the websites. For example, we have google.com, apple.com, nasdaq.com, tesla.com, oracle.com, and they have some relationships between each other. Let's see a concrete example. For example, we have the bbc.com, and if you right-click on the page, and we, you will have some option that see the source code of the page. Okay, the language is Hungarian in my operating system, but you will have some option that see the source code. And you will have the HTML and CSS and JavaScript related code behind the website. And you are going to have several HTTP colon slash slash. So you are going to have several references to other websites as well. So for example, I'm going to search for, let's see, for example, this www.bbc.com. If you click on that, it's going to navigate you to another website. If you right click and see the source code again, then maybe you are able to find another link, another website. For example, I'm going to search for another website and basically that's what we are going to implement to be able to do it with the help of Java. And as you can see, there's a reference to the facebook.com. So if you click it, it's going to navigate you to the Facebook. So this is why I said that there can be a network constructed out of these websites because we can get from google.com for example to tesla or oracle.com so we are able to construct a directed graph-like structure out of the web or the internet and basically it can prove to be very very important so the whole internet can be represented by a directed graph or network and the vertices are the domains or URLs or websites, and the edges basically the connections. And with breadth first search, we are able to traverse the web. This is called a web crawler that can hop from URL to URL and can observe the features of the network. For example, the topology of the network, the degree distributions, and so on. So for example, we are standing at the google.com and we visit all the neighbors. Okay, you may pose the questions that what does it mean that neighbors? We are going to parse the raw HTML as we have seen for bbc.com and we are looking for websites. We know for certain that all website starts with http colon slash slash www.something.com or hu or something like this. So basically we know that approximately what we are looking for and basically these URLs are going to be the neighbors. Okay, so if we are standing at google.com we can come to the conclusion that it has three neighbors, the tesla.com, the nasdaq.com and the apple.com according to our illustration. Okay, then we hop for the first one, the tesla.com and we keep visiting its neighbors. We come to the conclusion that it has no directed edges. So we hop to the next one, it is the nasdaq.com, it has no directed edges going out from this website. So we hop to the last one, the apple.com, it has two edges, one pointing to the nasdaq.com that we have already visited, and the second one is the oracle.com. So we visit the oracle.com and we come to the conclusion that it has two neighbors, the tesla.com and the nasdaq.com, but we have already visited both of them. So basically this is how a web crawler works. It's going to hop from vertex to vertex, but in this situation the vertex is going to be a website, a URL. And this kind of web crawler that traverses the web can acquire very very important parameters of the web. For example, what's the frequently visited websites? What are the websites that are important in the network as a whole? And basically this is why Barabashi model came to be. Barabashi Albert Laszlo is a Hungarian physicist and he came up with the complex network theory. 
and he came to the conclusion that sometimes it is extremely useful to monitor or study complex networks because it can contain useful information, for example about social networks such as Facebook or Twitter. We would like to pose the question that who is the most popular person in a group of people or who is the most important software engineer in a company and basically these questions can be answered with the help of the study of complex networks and basically we can use a web crawler in order to monitor the network, the internet, the world wide web in order to gain useful information for Facebook, Twitter or whatever we would like to use it. Thanks for watching.